good morning and welcome back to Jimmy's journey and welcome back to another episode of Walkmas. I was looking through my videos and looking through my content planning and realized I have not done a full day in the life of a pediatric nurse practitioner since I started back in February. So let's go. Go, Miss Sharon. which can is usually a staph skin infection that results in honey crusted lesions on the body or um, mucous membranes of the nose the mouth area so I'm going to go see this patient yeah, I to open it. it's still good but I like to put on gloves just in case it's a skin infection Ma'am? 
Okay. Oh, okay. I know if you are. Um... Um, I didn't see it on the thing, but I was charting on the kid. I, I just saw one three. I'll put this information in. Okay, I'll go there. One, I'll go there next. What can I do? You're so loving and gentle to the core. What can I do? Very here for. Oh, she has. Um, it's not pink ass. Just because of primer, they don't get. They thought it was conjunctivitis, but it's not. So she don't get the drops. It's like she has a. And it's not a style. I don't think it's a sign because it's like a knot or something in the lid that in her. So it's either horgeolum or chalazian, and one is painful and one is not. Well, it's one or the other. It's and one. Up. So would she have to see an eye doctor for that? It depends. But it's it's right in her eyelid. Let's see. Chalazian. She's such a I beautiful little girl. One. She's so pretty. The big brown pretty. Yeah, the hordeolum is the style. That's the one that's painful. The chalazian, I don't know if we can do anything for that one. Alrighty, um, what room she in? Two? She in three. Dang, you turn these rooms over here fast. I really like these rooms over here, so I appreciate that. I do, that's why I've been putting them over here. Oh, you can do one contest over here. Huh, so. Miss Sharon. Huh? Who's next? Nobody. Oh. It's a rap. For right now. I'm about to say for right now. <laughs> right now for right. Also, come on, finish telling me about the on four. Fuh. When you come to that text, I say, oh, you can come to that text. That's the name of the suit that you be wanting. <laughs> This parking lot always be on fleek. <laughs> but um, they're all registering and it takes quite some time for new patients to register. So Sharon's never had pho. <laughs> oh, and every time I come over this way, it's a fuss spot not too far from here that I love. So I am going to go get us some pho. She's gonna be trying it for the first time. I eat it like when I was working over here every week, I was eating it like every day <laughs> or at least two to three times. <laughs> when I like something, I like something. And if it's something that's healthy like pho, like you really can't go wrong with it. So um, I've only been here an hour and a half well just kidding i came a little early so i could film but i've only been seeing patients for an hour and a half and it's 1 30 so i know miss sharon hasn't eaten so i was saying all that to say it takes new patients a while to register like a good 20 30 minutes to fill out the paperwork then the um, Ms. Sharon or the medical assistants, they go in and then they do their vitals and they do the review of systems, which means basically, no, just kidding. They do the HPI, the history of present illness. And once again, when I figure out a way to <clears throat> show you guys how to chart on patients or like how to chart as an advanced provider, I will definitely show you. But 
what the medical assistants typically fill out um, or do the vitals they put those in they chart those or document those and then they document the hpi hold on they document the hpi history history of present illness basically they chip their chief complaint why are they here what are they coming to be seen for and then I go in, I'll do the review of systems, um, ROS, review of systems, and ask additional questions to gauge what my main and differential diagnoses are so that I can identify what's going on and properly treat the patient and then come up with a plan of care. In a nutshell, that's what we do as a nurse practitioner. And I think. Anyway, let's go get food and then we'll go back. I'm here from 12 to 8, so of course. Secured the bag practitioner and even my short while of being at this office that I'm at I I came back and there's three more cars here so let me get my room back in here see these patients so I can eat because I am starving so yeah it was conjunctivitis and an ear infection One, three, and five. One, three, and then the six. Um, mm. And technically, two, look, two, look, two was here before six looked like. How old is this patient? She's 13. Go ahead and swallow for strep and then flow. Sore throat fever for two days. Yeah, we need to go ahead and swab uh, six two. Same thing, sore throat fever congestion, so um, strep and flu. Is that the one she brought in and she bring it in now? No, she was bringing six in when I had walked in with the food. So about 10 minutes ago. I'll do six. But is she bringing another one in? Uh, an 11 year old. Cause someone tell me they say good in me, there's good in me. Cause I got doubt, I got doubt, I got doubt. 
Okay, 2200. Cool bean. Uh, so we get a strap. His strap was negative. But he did have a right ear infection. Negative. Safe. So, cough in. Infection. That's it. You got a ear infection? Yeah, the, the right ear is pretty infected. Oh, yeah. Um, you blow out my throat. Unfortunately, there's no medicine for your sore throat, sir. <laughs> well, And just like that, the night is done. The night is over. I did a full eight hours today at the urgent care. I am exhausted. And I only saw 13 patients today, which was good. They came in all kind of staggered out through the day. So, which means the, the day was, the day was steady and not just like sitting here doing nothing. I saw 13 patients. <laughs> ear infections a lot of colds so right now it's really cool down here we've been having cool weather for about two weeks so a lot of our kids have been really really sick down this way because we're not used to the cooler weather I'm not going to say cold but cool so we're not really used to this cool weather so um, parents are bringing their kids in for cough and runny nose for a day or two <laughs> And it's like, okay, you guys aren't really giving them time, their body is time to fight off whatever it is because about 75% of the time it's a virus. And I had to get in the car because it is extremely loud out there. But anyway, you guys remember this view from clinical? <laughs> yeah, so like I was saying, really just seeing a lot of cough a lot of common cold things there are a lot of different viruses going around right now i'm um, definitely the flu in addition to coronavirus i haven't seen covid in many um, pediatric patients um, and actually all the patients that i've swabbed i have not gotten a positive covid and i've been swabbing quite a few um, patients they get in back human metal pneumovirus adenovirus enterovirus flu influenza virus and things like that um, definitely getting some strep back lots of ear infections lots of asthma exacerbations um in addition to that um, lots of pink eye as well hand foot mouth disease and today i saw two stars so i just wanted to um close off the vlog thank you guys for coming to work with me i hope this was informative i hope you enjoyed it and as always thank you guys for tuning in to janine's journey you already know what i'm about to say you already know what to do make sure you give this video a thumbs up make sure you leave any comments you have down below make sure you subscribe and make sure you tell a friend mm -mm 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 -mm. Woo. And I'll see you guys in a second in my week in the life vlog. I'm going to cut out to this day in the life and have it as um, a separate video because I did a full day in the life. And then, of course, follow along on my week in life because I'm actually about to go home and um, chart for my main job so that I can have all of those charts complete. I like to have a clean slate starting Monday morning. So see you in that vlog. Bye. Good morning. Oh, no, no. Focus, focus, focus. Maybe.